Hey guys, today I'm answering a question from another Sonex owner, so let's get into it. Today's question is about my RevMaster engine, and particularly this item right here, the RevFlow carburetor. How this carburetor looked when it was installed, and what all the connections looked like as well. Kind of like the throttle, the carb heat, and the mixture control. So let's take a look at that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to remove our plug here in the end of our ram air tube. What we have here is this ram air scoop. Right now, you can see the butterfly valve is open, and this sits outside of the cowling, collecting fresh air. When we, when we put on our carb heat, carb heat, this butterfly valve closes. We'll show you that now. Carburetor heat off, carb heat on. Carb heat off, carb heat on. Off, on. Off, on. Well that's it right there, pretty basic stuff. It's gonna need a good clean before I start this engine again. Come down to the bottom we have our throttle control. This lever right here, currently the throttle is completely closed. Throttle closed. Throttle open. Throttle closed. Throttle open. Close. Open. Now the RevFlow carb is a slide carburetor and you'll see this slide going here in a bit. Throttle closed. Throttle open. Closed. Open. All right, now we can take a look at our mixture control. Fuel line where our fuel comes in, comes through this block. Then here's the adjustment arm for the mixture control. So let's see that now. Mixture full lean. Mixture full rich. Full lean. Full rich. Full lean. Full rich. Now you may know that I did not build this aircraft. I, I bought this already put together. If you were to build your own, it takes a little bit of setup and fine tuning. For you to get everything set to where it needs to be. So as you can see, there's this lockdown bolt that this is what the builder determined to be the operating range or the, the fuel mixture range for this engine for this particular aircraft. I have the cowling on loosely now just so you can get an idea of what this cutout looks like for this ram air tube. But you can see there's this molded portion right here that was added to the cowling. And here is the inside of my cowling. The other side pretty much looks like the other, but here's where the ram air scoop is glassed in. Well, that's it, guys. I hope this helps any of you that are building with a RevMaster engine and RevFlow carb. If you've got a question about my Sonics project and you'd like to see me do another video about it, just leave me a comment below. Until next time, thanks for watching and happy building.